But I just want to point out that, uh, the reason why I got into playing Diablo, it was because of my mom. <laughs> that, that's a great way to be introduced. <laughs> yeah. In fact, my mom introduced me to a live game. In fact, she was the one that introduced me to Doom. <laughs> that's a badass mom right there. Yeah. In fact, she, oh. she actually dubs herself the Doom Queen. Because she played... She used to play so much Doom when I was a uh, when I was a kid. I would always watch her play Doom, and uh, I was just like fascinated at that game, both Doom and uh, Diablo. Oh, and Heretic too. Yeah, my mom also used to play Heretic. And Chex Quest. Can't forget about Chex Quest. I have not played Chex Quest actually. Neither have I, so I don't know why I brought that up. Okay then. I mean, it's just like it's it's just one of those like interesting things just to hear about like it's it's a Doom clone, yes. Just because, uh, it, in fact, if anything, it's just a it's the same exact engine, just been reskinned to be kid friendly. But the fact that that you can get that in a cereal box at the time is just crazy. <laughs> huh. All right. Yeah. So that was that was something that Chex did as a some sort of little promotion. Or, uh, I don't know if you call it promotion, just something. Probably like. Ow. Probably widely considered like the best thing you can get as a prize in a cereal box. <laughs> it's just a family friendly Doom game. <laughs> <laughs> family friendly Doom game. That's like the biggest oxymoron that you could ever come up with. Well, they managed to do it because, like, in that game, you play as some sort of guy in a Chex costume or something, and you go around. Finding these uh, these uh, slime aliens, and your job Flamoids, is flamoids. I think they're called flamoids. Yeah, and ah. you basically have to go around having to use several different weaponry that doesn't kill them, but teleports them back to their world. I guess that's their way of saying like, "Hey, there's no killing. We're teleporting them back to their world." Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Ah! Fucking aim, descent freak! I also find it funny that, like, it makes sense that you have uh, weapons that, that shoot some sort of, like, ray to make them teleport back to the world, but another funny thing is that you do have a melee weapon, which is just a spoon, a spoon. <laughs> and that can also make them teleport. <laughs> of course! Man, I want a teleporting spoon. Spoon! That'd be awesome! Well, at least it's better than having to be beaten to death by a spoon. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Gotta love that that uh, video. What 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 was it called? Got like some really long ass name. Yeah. The horribly slow murder with the extremely inefficient weapon. Yeah, that's it. I like yeah. the part where. Uh, where the guy actually breaks his spoon, and you're thinking like, oh, it's over, he can't do anything else, and then he opens up his trench coat, and there's like a dozen more spoons in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, um, you want to hear something really cool? My mom okay. and my dad, uh, my mom and my dad, as we, pay, as we played the original beta version of the original Doom before it was officially released. Ah, so playing with the shotgun with that different skin or something. I suppose. Playing with the, first, the BFG that slowed down the game and looked like Christmas. <laughs> I wouldn't know because I wasn't even born at that time. In fact, the game came around at the same time I was born, 1993. The only thing I recall of the beta was that different little like texture for the shotgun where it did have a little bit of like a iron sight on it. Aha. Uh -huh. And of course iron sights are useless on a shotgun because they're not good for long range. Unless it's uh, the shotgun from Sirius Sam 2. Because in Sirius Sam 2 the shotgun is really really effective for long range attacks. Talking about more about like uh, <laughs> guns in real life and how accurate with shotguns are again. No. Yeah. 
don't know. When will you guys ever learn? Oh, I see. All right. Time to saw you up. Ow. Of course, can't like, chainsaw oh, Kamikaze. Here, dealing with these Nars. <laughs> I'm just, I just, just, chain, just chainsawing them up. I just said uh, you can't chainsaw a Kamikaze, and yet I just did it anyway. We're daring today. <laughs> and we don't care one bit. Exactly. And slowing down trees just to fill up time. So yeah. Oh, what we'll, we'll kind of got up to level 90 now? <laughs> So yeah, of all the games that, uh, with all the games that were introduced to me by my mom, guess which game my dad introduced me to? Hmm. Is it another shooter? Yes. Hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna throw out a guess here. Did he introduce you to Descent? Yep, Wipe Jack got it. <laughs> I should have known. Of course. Also, there's a giant hole in the water here. Which has next secret. Come to think of it, I'm not really exactly sure like what, uh, I, how I first discovered Doom. I, I can only recall my last thing in my memory was that I saw Flapjack play it on his laptop at one point. Oh, and that's only. I think I, that's only when I was a teen. I thought you said you were introduced to it by the movie. Really? When did I say that? Uh, during your Eons of Death let's play of the Ultimate Doom. Oh wow! Not even I, not even <laughs> I can get my facts straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you said that in like episode one, map seven. I think. I don't know. How the fuck do I remember all this shit? These are your videos, and yet I'm remembering them better remember than them? you do. <laughs> 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 ah! Quit chopping so, my balls. So uh, was it like Doom to uh, Eons of Death? No, Ultimate Doom. Oh okay. Well, I mean, if my memory was more fresher back then, I'm going to assume that was the case. <laughs> <laughs> I was introduced to Doom because one of my uncles had the Genesis version of it. Oh, Genesis? Yes, there was a Genesis port of it. It was awful. God, I only know about the, like, the... I mean, well, later in time, I've known about the SNES version of it, but I didn't know Genesis had a bad version of it. You need the 32X in order to play it. Oh, okay. Never ah, mind. okay. Like, I thought... <laughs> so, yeah. You need to have the add-ons and whatnot. Okay. Not the second CD, just the 32X. Right. Yeah. It, and... I mean, I, I guess it played okay. You couldn't stray for anything, because it was just a controller. But, um... It had to use the music with the Genesis's, uh sound chip and it didn't go well it basically just sounds like a bunch of farts sounds like a bunch of farts i'm pretty sure that's what the happy madison studio always sounds like which must be or, how they get their inspiration for the majority of their films like you know a crazy that night that, or Sorry. that sound that or, or that sound that you know what never mind <laughs> We're talking about farts, and yet I'm trying to make a reference to somewhere sound that sounds like a fart, but then, like, no. I, you won't get any more fart jokes out of me. Yeah. Also, I'm good. mowing down Kamikaze with my chainsaw. <laughs> nice try, Clear. I'm too quick on the trigger for you. But anyway, yeah, it was my uh, it was my dad that introduced me to uh, Descent. In fact, it was the very first game I've ever played. Both that and uh, Forsaken, another sixth degree of freedom first person shooter like Descent. 
And I didn't really get that much into Forsaken. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it's because I had no idea what the hell I was supposed to be doing. But then again, with Descent, I pretty much didn't have any idea what I was supposed to do either. I was just enjoying it so much because it really felt like I was actually in that ship flying around in those mines. I mean, that's what I just really love about Descent. It just feels so, uh... Uh... Real, for lack of a better word. Hopefully I mean, you weren't... Hopefully you didn't get motion sickness. <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I never get motion sickness playing video games. Yeah, same here. So yeah, I've been, I've been playing uh, Descent for like 20 years now. I've been playing that game since I was five. I'm waiting to see the day whenever I get my hands on a freaking VR headset to see like if I get motion sickness from like sitting on a freaking <laughs> amusement park ride in a game. Because <laughs> <laughs> the idea that you're visually seeing that you're moving around and yet you're sitting down as it's happening. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, back on topic with uh, discovering uh, games being introduced at a certain point in time. I'm wondering, in general, like, what was, like, the first, like, uh, first person sure that I played? Earliest recollection I can think of. I mean, if it counts, uh, I mean, it wasn't the sole purpose of the game, but it was just. For like a couple of missions, and as well as using the final boss fight, but in Banjo Tooie. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, there was there was a there was a move that you get where you have to use Kazooie as a gun and you just shoot eggs. Ah. I, mean, I guess that technically counts, but no. Is it in so first person or third person? Uh, first person. Okay. Well, but no. If I if I have to count like what my actual like first first person shoot probably was, I think it was Time Splitters Two. You think that's about right? Yeah, I think that uh, sounds uh, sounds about right. Well, I mean, Flapjack, because like I think, like, oh. we, like he and I played the okay. Stuff well, I a whole bunch. I was gonna say yeah, that sounds more like a first-person shooter than uh, a. <laughs> 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 yeah. As for me, um, God, that's a real tough question. I think the first first-person shooter I actually legitimately owned and didn't just play at another person's house was probably a shareware version of Quake, the first one. Ah. Oh, well, if we're going by, like, for a game that I have owned uh, and not played at any other person's house, then that would have to be the sequel to uh, Transplanters, which is uh, Future Perfect. Ah. Although, then again, there was Metroid Prime. <laughs> I mean, if we really wanted to stretch the definition of first-person shooter, the first game that I remember playing, period, was Doc Hunt. <laughs> well, technically it's a first-person shooter! <laughs> well, th that, that is true. I mean, I did play that, too. I did as well. And there was also... I played the, the version of Duck Hunt that also came with the uh, that Koi Pigeon game. I forgot what it was called. Yeah. That was just mode C of Duck Cut, I think. Yeah, in fact, wasn't that like that Super Mario Duck Hunt thing like pre-bundled with the NES or something? I have to assume so. Literally because everyone really that I know that had a Nintendo also had that game. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's keep the conversation keep it, uh, let's keep this uh, conversation going with like what genre of game were we were first introduced to or something like that. We were talking about shooters this whole entire time, but what about like anything else? Uh, well, I was gonna say in terms of like RPGs, as I said before, the first RPG I've ever played was like uh, Diablo. And I did play Diablo 2, even though I've never gone past the uh, second world. Was it because I mean, of the Act 2 boss or something? I never even gotten that far. I mean, the, re the reason why I didn't like Diablo 2 that much is because there was like no proper way to save the game. I mean, like, every time you save the game and then load it, 
basically the whole entire world just resets, like, monsters and everything. And that really ticked me off, because it doesn't really save your progress, it just, uh, remembers what missions you complete and which ones you still have to do. Like, even the, uh, boss enemies that you kill to complete certain missions, they come back to life every time you load a save game. And were, you trying to play, were you trying to play that on multiplayer, or, or just on local? It's just, just single player. Huh. Yeah, I've I never played... It's, it's been so long since I've played single player of that, that, uh... I mean, it's always, it's always guaranteed on, like, multiplayer that, like, you start up a new game, then, yeah, everything's gonna get randomized. I, I... I just seem to recall that when I saw people speedrun uh, Diablo 2, is that I thought I always seemed like the, the maps being the same generally, especially if they were trying to do like uh, uh, some sort of speedrunning tactic where they were like grinding for like certain items or something, ah. and then they would know the exact layout. But yeah, I've but never yeah, played. I... Sorry. I mean, I'm, so I can understand what what you're getting at with. Uh, how everything just resets, but, uh... Yeah. I mean, that, that is, like, how the game was, like, meant to be played, is just having to... A lot of, like, random factors to it is meant to create high repl replayability, so... Yeah. But in the aspect of you trying to, like... Trying to get back to where you were, I guess that... I can understand that. So... Yeah. And I've never played Diablo in multiplayer. Like, the closest I've ever gotten to playing Diablo in multiplayer was uh, Path of Exile. Ah. Uh. Because it's basically the same as Diablo, except it's free to play. Alright, well, uh... Since we're now going on with uh, RPGs, God, what was my what, what, what was my first one? Hmm. Well, you know, what? I want to ask your opinion. What's your opinion on the Mass Effect series? I wouldn't know since I've uh, actually no way. I think I might had. I think I might have played that a little bit, but not far. I mean, definitely not far. I would say like. I guess I was just bored one day. I had a copy of that on the 360 at one point, and I ah. only played for like an hour, and I'm like... Yeah, I didn't really get that far Let's go back to RuneScape! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking goddammit! Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get this over with. There. Done. You're adding a death to your counter, boy. <laughs> I make references, it'll kill you again. But anyway, like I was trying to say before, um, yeah, I haven't really gotten that far into the first game myself. But, I'm actually going to sound a bit weird saying this, but you know how, like, people keep saying, like, they'd rather play the game rather than watch it? Yeah. Well, with, with Mass Effect, Mass Effect is one of those games I'd rather watch than play, because I was first introduced to it by, uh, by a friend of mine who also does Let's Plays. And he did a let's play of all three Mass Effect games, and he did them so goddamn well. I don't think there's anyone else who could do any better than he than he did. Ow. I don't know how you can watch like that amount of like footage of a game that's like really long and not get bored of it. Well, here's the thing. I was checking out my friend's uh, playlist of let's plays that he'd done thus far, and I saw that he did a let's play of the Mass Effect game. And I keep hearing from some of my friends that Mass Effect's a lot of fun. I was like, you know what, I'll go ahead and check it out. So I went ahead and watched like the first two videos of his uh, Mass Effect 1 Let's Play. And I was like, wow, this looks like... This looks really interesting and uh, intriguing. So I just kept watching the Let's Play and soon I found myself getting really into the Mass Effect games. And then I was like, I gotta play these games for myself. They look like so much fun. But then I started playing the Mass Effect game myself, or in this case, the first one. And, like, about 10 or 15 minutes into it, I was like, yeah, I think I'd rather watch this game than play, uh, than actually play it. Because it was just kind of uh, overwhelming for me, I guess, because of all the certain choices that you make and how it can affect 
not only the game uh, later on as you keep playing it, but also the sequels as well. Yeah, I don't know if I want to have that amount of responsibility at my disposal. Yeah. Like in the first game, you have to make a choice on which squad mate you want to uh, sacrifice in uh, this one mission. I think it was on a planet called Vermeer or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a choice you have to make, and, and you have to rescue only one squad mate that, and leave the other one to die. And that will uh, affect the uh, rest of the first game and the other two games as well. Not counting Andromeda, of course. Well, I'm assuming not counting Andromeda because I haven't seen. I really don't know anything about Andromeda. The only thing you need to know about Andromeda is that it's terrible. Right. Wait, what am I doing? Chainsaw! Chainsaw? <laughs> Chainsaw the Zumble. Sorry to ruin your moment. It comes and goes. Yeah. Well, I can definitely say this level is definitely longer than the other one. Because <laughs> like the other one lasted like 14 minutes, now we're like more than double that. Yeah, pretty much. Real Pretty monsters! Much. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, they were going, ah, and I just had to say real monsters. Can I borrow your rocket launcher? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't been using it aside from, like, killing myself after you brought up RuneScape again. I mean... If I can drop my rocket launcher, I would, but sadly I can't because this game doesn't have that option. I mean, I know that none of you guys are like interested in it, but I figured it might be an interesting thing to bring up. Is that uh, is that the uh, there's like two different versions that exist of it right now, which is RuneScape 3, and then there's old school RuneScape. Um, and right now, um, they're currently right now in the beta testing right now, having to bring old school RuneScape to uh, mobile now. Uh huh. I oh, just didn't know if anybody was found that interesting that after all this time the game finally reached like mobile platforms and like how that's going to like impact or something like that. I mean, think about that in general. Like, if you if you think that a game has some sort of capability of like going beyond desktop and then going to mobile, what do you think about like how much big of an impact it's going to be or something? I don't know if there's like another like game example we can think of that like can do that, or if there's another game that we, that already has done that. Because I'm not sure myself. No, nothing. Okay, I guess that topic was dead in the water. Anyways, uh, let's yeah. Get back to talking about uh, anything but RuneScape. I don't know, what other kind of topic that only I'm not interested but in, none of you guys are? Um, anything to waste your rockets. Um. <laughs> Speaking of rockets. There we go. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> oh, there goes all my rockets. Wait, what? Okay, that was weird. My weapons were gone for a second. Ow. Are we supposed to have picked up a uh, Tommy gun at some point? I suppose. I mean, we, we got a lot of bullets, but no Tommy gun. Weird. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we could we could have left the level five minutes ago. <laughs> oh. I didn't want to say anything because I wanted to give you guys a hard time. 
Hey, it isn't a hard time if, like, if we came here just to kill. <laughs> yeah. So oh, wait, here it is. Now we got our Tommies. <laughs> oh. Even How though weird. we didn't grab them in the previous level. Oh well. And we did technically get all secrets. Yeah, we did. So, so it's like we must have found that at some point, and yet we didn't. Yeah. Weird. Um, Do you guys have rocket launchers? Nope. Ah, okay. Because we are supposed to get rocket launchers in this level. Are you tired? Take a nap. <laughs> are you tired? Take a nap. Yes, I would definitely like to take a nap, Sam. I've already had my nap today. It was a good one. I envy you. Anyway. All right, so <laughs> if, if we can go, probably go back to discussing, like, what was, like, the first RPG that I've played? I could have sworn it had to have been something on the SNES, I think. I don't know. It feels weird. It can't be Final Fantasy because I haven't played that. I'm pretty sure that was probably Flapjack's first. It was Final Fantasy, well, six, if we're talking about it correctly. Actually, I'm pretty sure the first Final Fantasy game I remember playing was four, which was two, but it was on the SNES. Huh. Because I've only ever, I've only ever seen, uh, I've only seen your copy of like Final Fantasy six or three in the U.S. God, such weird, like, numbering. Ooh. Oh. That was one pile of pills. Yeah. I just got, like, 26 oh, health from that. <laughs> <laughs> Bomb boy. Bomb? You want it? It's yours. I'm okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta have your daily dosage after all. Oh no, I kinda wish I had a rocket launcher right now. Why? We're just dealing with kamikazes and rocketeers and whatnot. You don't understand, man. He needs his explosion fix. <laughs> He's the uh, kamikaze. You want your explosions? You got it. 